Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. And today we're catching up with the middle of the season. It's uh, 2020, sorry, 2033, uh, January 2033. We have gone through a brief transfer window, but there have been no changes except we swapped one of the goalkeepers. So David Steele from our youth setup. He's not very good, as you can see. But anyway, David Steele from my youth setup, uh, I swapped him around with Owen Evans, who I'm looking to retire at the end of the season. So that is me trying to plan ahead and be like, hey, I'm not probably not going to be able to make transfers in the summer, so we'll train one of the youngsters to come up to the first team. We are in huge debt. Not too bad in the table, so we're 14th. I can't actually remember what where we finished last year, but I think it was pretty close to the bottom. Um, club history, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, we finished 20th and 19th. So, 14th is better than that, for sure. Uh, still nowhere near uh, to the playoffs. Uh, we were in the playoff zone for the first few weeks of the season. And then we started to tumble down until we kind of stabilized around 14th. So we're going to play QPR now. QPR are uh, just above the play the relegation zone. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play that game now. Our youth team is doing really well, by the way. We have one player that is top of the goal scoring sheet as well um, for the whole week with I think double the amount of goals than the second place so we'll show you that in a minute as well just got the league table up so yeah if I quickly go back into the youth so we have first place in the league at the moment by uh, quite a good margin if you look at the fixtures we're winning our fixtures quite consistently very few losses and draws in the league. Uh, what else have we got here? We're still going for the Youth Cup and the Division round. So we're going to play the Division quarterfinal against Oxford. And we just lost for the FA Cup against Leeds and Leeds youth team play in the first division so they are a lot better than us. So we got to the fourth round of the FA Cup for the youth and we are going to the quarterfinal of the cup for the league. And as far as goals for the league, if you look at the stats, Yeah, we've got Archie Flynn, who has got 29 goals in 19 games. Uh, and then the second place is uh, Paramut, and he's got 15 goals in 19 games. Or well, 18 and a half games, really. So yeah, oh, our players are pretty much dominating uh, the, goals, the goal scoring. The end 21s still not bad, but actually what's making the difference for them, if I go and look at a league, is that Archie Flynn is playing for them almost every game. So he's scoring the goals, as you can see. Not in that game. But yeah, he's uh, scoring a lot for them as well. Archie Flynn. So yeah, so there, there you go, two goals from him. So. They are also relying on Ashley Flynn. I don't know how they're doing for the stats. There you go, Archie Flynn, seven goals in uh, eight games. So he's up there as well in the scoring sheet for the division. Jay Green as well. Jay Green is actually in the other 21, so that's okay. So yeah, our youth teams are doing well. It's just our main team isn't doing so well at all. A sip of my cup of tea.
So in theory, we should be winning this game, really, because QPR are um, a team that at the moment isn't doing so well, so... changes in attack so I'm gonna leave Ben up there stranded by himself and we'll go with that should we I know Coomer is injured but hopefully he can recover a bit from that see he already recovered quite a bit so We've had a, a negative transfer budget for the second year running now. So I I can't think that will be any different next transfer window, which means we won't be able to improve the team. So it kind of stuck a little bit. If you guys have any suggestions, make feel free to put it in the comments. Um, but yeah, we we are stuck a little bit for what we could do to get out of this. It's not like we're not improving. Obviously, we are improving. We're doing better every season. But I feel like we're going to be stuck in this league for a while. opportunity there.
There isn't really much to say here, so we're gonna carry on and play to the end of the season. We're probably not gonna get relegated, but also probably not gonna get promoted. So it's gonna be one of those that we just have to plow through um, in the next few seasons and, and until something exciting happens. But yeah, I'm quite surprised we managed to face a defeat here against QPR. I was hoping this was gonna be a bit of a straightforward game for us, but yeah. So I'll catch up with you guys again at the end of the season just to let you know how we did. But as I said, it's probably not going to be not not much exciting going on because we're basically in a lull, financials are poor. Unless maybe the club gets taken over, that could be quite exciting. So, but yeah, I'll let you guys know. Thanks so much for watching to the end. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check out the Patreon where you can name a new gen. So go and check that out if you want to. Take care. Bye-bye.